Let's look at another question with multiple triangles in it. We're going to use the trig ratios to solve this, and we're going to have to solve it in a couple of steps. So you're standing on top of a building. You know how tall the building you're on is, and you've measured some angles, angles to the top of the building beside you and the angles down to the bottom. And you want to know how tall is this second building? But we're going to have to use multiple triangles to solve this. So let's look at a couple of little details. Two separate triangles. I'm actually going to start with this triangle and then move on to the other one. Now, the reason why I'm starting with that triangle first is you need to know at least two pieces of information from that triangle to be able to solve anything on it. That top triangle, this triangle right here, I know only one piece. I only know that angle and that it's a right triangle. If I look at the bottom triangle, however, if I look at this triangle down here, I know an angle, and I also know that this is going to be 39 meters, because this is a perfectly horizontal line. I'm going to use that 39 meters to solve for the length of this horizontal line, or to solve for the distance between the two buildings. And once I know that distance, I can use that distance to solve for parts of this triangle. And really all I need is to find that height right there. I can add it to this height and answer for the total height of the building. Well, let's start with that bottom triangle. Put in what I know. I know that this is a 39 meter side. I label my sides of my triangle. This is the hypotenuse, the largest side of the triangle. I'm looking from this angle, so this must be my opposite. And that leaves this side to be the adjacent side. I'm going to write down Sokotoa. Let's figure out which trig ratio we need to use. Keep in mind, I want to find my adjacent side, because that's the side that's common between both of the triangles. So I know my opposite. I don't know my hypotenuse, and to be honest, I don't really need it. So anything with hypotenuse isn't useful to us right now. Sine has a hypotenuse, so we'll skip that one. Cos has a hypotenuse, we'll skip that one. This piece is a tangent question. Tan of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Tan of 42 degrees equals my opposite side, which is 39 meters, all divided by, and this is the part I don't know, I'm going to call it the adjacent side. Let's do some algebra to get that adjacent side all by itself, times both sides by the adjacent. So now I've got the adjacent times the tan of 42 equals 39 meters. Divide both sides by tan of 42. These two cancel each other out. So now I've got adjacent equals 39 divided by the tan of 42. Pull up your calculator and do that math. I'm going to do 39 meters divided by the tan of 42. So go 42, then I hit my tangent button. Once again, I know my angle. I'm looking for my ratio, so I want to work with the tan ratio, not the second function tan. Tan. 0 0.9004 is my ratio. In order to get the side length, I'm going to have to actually do the dividing part. So if I hit the equals button, it'll finish that off for me. My adjacent side is 43.3 meters. There's my first answer. Now, that is not what I'm going for in the end, but it is a piece I'm going to use to get my answer. So I'm coming back to that 43.3 meters. Okay, going back up to our picture, I now know that this is 43 meters. 0.3 meters. Let's use that top triangle now to solve for the rest of that height. Okay, there's my triangle. I just calculated this side to be 43.3 meters. I know one angle. I've got enough to solve for that piece right there. Let's label our sides. There's my hypotenuse, longest side of the triangle. On the far side of my right angle is my opposite side, and this is my adjacent. Write down Sokotoa. Okay, sides that I know. I know the 43 meter side, my adjacent side. I'm looking for my opposite side. So I have to work with both those two sides. Hypotenuse isn't important to me. So once again, we're going to eliminate any trig ratios that use the hypotenuse. Both sine and cos do. We have another tan question. Write down my formula. Tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Let's write down what we know. Tan of 31 degrees equals my opposite. Now that's the piece I don't know. I'm going to write that down as opposite divided by my adjacent side. And that's the piece I also know, 43.3 meters. Let's isolate the opposite variable. I'm going to times both sides by 43.3 times that side by 43.3. These two parts cancel each other out. I'm left with my opposite. I'm left with my opposite side equals. All right, let's pull out the calculator. 
I'm going to do the tan of 31. I have my angle, so I'm looking for my trig ratio. There's my ratio. Times it by 43.3. Don't forget to hit the equals button, and that opposite side is 26.0 meters tall. Quite often when I assign this, a question like this, I'll get people to write that down, 26.0 is the final answer. No, we still have to go back to our original, original picture and make sure that we have answered the question. All I've actually figured out is that this piece up here is 26.0 meters, and I want that whole height. So I have to add it on to that 39 meters right there. Always look back at your picture and make sure you've calculated what you were asked for. So my total height equals 39 meters. That's how tall the building was that you're already standing on. Plus 26.0 meters. That's how ta much taller than the other building is. So we've got a total height of 65 meters. And that is my final answer. The building is 65 meters tall.